But not only do we get the arcane lore, which is similar with all the other lore things, this one allows you to use the arcana abilities that you learned as a dark knight. But also while we're here, you found Shiapa. And honestly, I'm not even gonna try. I just want that done because this mini game is just it's dumb. Okay, with that out of the way, now I'm gonna run up to the Kilika Temple, but also, literally right as I paused the deal in that fight, Fane learned a demon muzzle, so is now working on Fane Hunter 2. Uh, Riku is almost fully learned counterattack, 100 more points to go. And Yuna has. 13 points to go for Lightning Sandals. I'll also come back through and find the total of 13 Squatter Monkeys. After finishing this, since I have to come back anyway. Also, hello Chocobo. Stairs we go. Forgotten who it is you are supposed to be guarding. I ought to fire you for just up and leaving me the way you Donna! did. Don't interrupt. I've been practicing these lines for days, so be quiet and let me finish. <laughs> Donna, please forgive me. I'll apologize as much as you want. Don't say I can't be your guardian anymore. I'll never leave your side again. That's so sweet. Shut up. <laughs> Ugh, you're making such a scene. How humiliating. Don't think that you're off the hook for embarrassing me like this. You'll be making this up to me for the rest of your life. Hooray! Donna! Bartello, we're leaving. Oh. Shut up, brother. Drink Gamma Trasut. I will admit, I wasn't expecting any all bed. I did not. I was not looking at the screen. But, got the tricks of the trade garment grid. One second here, I'm gonna step away for a moment so I can refresh my beverages. Okay. I am back. I am beveraged up. Also, thought I meant to show this a long time ago, quote unquote. But under key items, Twilight Rain enables Floral Falal to learn Break Damage Limit. That is Yuna's special dress fear. Also, 
uh, treasure spheres. Those particular higher flies should look familiar. That is also an area that, spoiler, we're gonna be going at some point. But back to Kilika Island. here. Might as well grab this chest because I'm going to be right by it. I say as I ran past a couple others. That's the new youth league base they're putting up. Go ahead, take a look. Okay, thanks. Island is peaceful again and they've put the finishing touches on the base. Hey, you wouldn't be interested in going to the base, would you? I could ask the ferryman to take you over. You want to take a look? Yes. Yes, I would. And again, you have to talk to the dude in chapters 1, 2, and 3. Or, at least 1 and 3 for sure. Pretty sure it was in chapter 2 also. We're gonna come up and around. 
accessory invincible and then I think up here there is one more yeah but you found me here take this and pretend you never saw me but as you Giro Rapella coins. Giro Rapella, something like that. But, hi kid. Now we're going to head back, and then we will show off why we want that accessory. Ready to go back to town? Let's see. Actually, I'm not going to worry about equipping it, because it ain't going to happen for a while. Invincible. Insignia of Destruction allows a max damage to exceed 9,999. This is our break damage limit accessory. Oops. I meant to do sort first. Because I've been forgetting to do that a lot sooner. Uh, but I suppose what I will also do... No, brother's going to be the scapegoat for this one. Uh, give you a thief accessory charm bangle no encounters so now we're going back into the forest finding those monkeys and getting the previous missed garment grid I think you can actually get that back in chapter 3 but I could be forgetting to. Now my problem, I don't remember where all of the monkeys are. So, I'm gonna be wandering aimlessly, but rather than subjugate gel to that whole process, I'm going to just pause the recording. When I find one, I'll resume it to show off where it is. Like that one. You found a squatter monkey. So, I'll be back when I find numbers 3 through 13. Number 3. It's this little corner up here. And you just run straight up through the central path. Squatter monkey number 4. Right behind the statue after the first intersection. I suppose before I do a quick pause, I'll check here, see if number five shows up. Okay, nope, so I'll return. <laughs> okay, number five, right behind the first tree, directly across from the save sphere. Okay, number six, for whatever reason, didn't count, but when you take the left off that first intersection, it's right here before you get behind this tree. seven through that little hidden pathway eight after you go well obviously you can look at the map see where i am but when going down the whole central lane go to the second intersection right in the corner by that tree number nine due east of that come to the far corner that little spot there bottom next okay nothing so i'll return next one discovered left intersection bottom corner as soon as it starts curving up don't know why this one didn't count before because i know i was over here spamming so i don't know if these show up in particular orders but i also lost track i think this one was number 11 but take that east intersection from the save sphere by the big tree leaning over. At this point, I am now fairly confident that they show up in particular orders. But what I believe is number 12, down that uh, hidden pathway, quote-unquote, right before you get on the falling over tree branch on the left-hand side. Which, assuming I'm counting right, I have one more to find. Okay, after so much back and forth, checking the exact same spots over and over and over, Squatter Monkey number 13, left-hand path from the beginning, 
all the way up to the curve, right across the little super scrawny tree. Which that should be the final squatter. I have no idea why I just ran this way, cause because I'm dumb. Easiest way to put it. But with that done, we're now going to go up into Kilika Temple. Because there are a couple of unique treasures that we want to grab. So, I'll meet you up there, which shouldn't be in nearly as much time. Alright. So, at the temple entrance. First chest to the right. One ether. Second chest. One mega potion. Run past the kid and the bald man. In the right hand door, we has got two chests. First one being a wall ring, which I think we've already got, and a regen bangle. And then on the left side, I think there's only one chest. Yeah. Which contains an elixir. Oh, no, a mega elixir even better. I like when the game proves me wrong by giving me something better than I anticipated. And now we're gonna go inside of the temple itself. Get past this wannabe guard. Sucker. Here, run past this other wannabe guard. Mack him in the face. But alas, the game will not let me smack him in the face. Thankfully, clusters are still finished. First, grab a cat spell. Second chest contains two turbo ethers. Now, in chapter three, if you did not pick up the samurai dress sphere, that's what would be in this chest instead. And then I think there's one more thing all the way in here. I don't remember if it's anything good though. But. Um, oh, nope. I guess there's not an extra chest in here. Weird. That's not right. Where's the chest that I'm missing then? Oh. Right there. Wizard bracelet. I'm nothing but a dumbass. Cause I missed this one too. That's two ethers. Alright. That's her ears. Go to the bottom. Yep, I've already got the other two new ones. Cat spell. Automatically recover HP when walking. HP stroll. It's okay. We get the other one that's got the HP and MP stroll, so it's not like this is going to be anything spectacular. And then wizard bracelet. Automatically recover MP when walking. So MP stroll. Again, there's the other one that's got both, so no real need for this one. But, in the event that you need them, or you just want one of those versus the other, it's there for you. <clears throat> now we're going to head back up. <laughs> and... Gonna do this the quick way. Back to Kilika Island for what should be the last time. All the way around and down. Might as well grab this chest. 
And honestly, I really hope I did not miscount and miss one. So, this is going to take forever and I might actually look it up. Let me know if you find any other squatter monkeys in the woods, okay? How many have you brought me? Let's see, 13, I think. Ooh, so many monkeys. I don't know what to say. Here's a little thank you. Thank you. Squirt the Chaos Maelstrom Garment Grid. <clears throat> Which reminds me, I haven't gone over any of the newer ones. Let's see. Assuming I can remember what all of them are. I know I went over Raging Giants. Bum bum. Go through all those. Okay, Samurai's Honor did. Pride of the Sword did. That should have been a really early one. Oh, Chaos Maelstrom. Equip can use the Arcana abilities. Pass through all four gates. And then it gives you plus 15 magic. And in general, the Arcana wait time goes down. Tavern. Tricks of the Trade. Pass through the Red Gate. Black Magic Weight goes down. Pass through the Yellow. Your White Magic Weight goes down. Or pass through the Green. And the Arcana Weight goes down, depending on which of the types of magic you're using. And I feel like there was a third one that was not gone over. Maybe I went through all of them. Hmm. Either way, that finishes up everything to do in Kilika. So, I'll meet you back aboard the airship when we work on the next area. Alright, next up on the list of places, Luca. Blitzball season. Blitzball season's here at last, so are we playing? Uh, uh, uh. The day that Blitz Freaks across Spirit have been waiting for is finally here. That's right, folks. Blitzball season has begun. Wow, is it that time of year already? I wonder if Waka and the gang are here. The Aurochs aren't coming. I hear they've got their hands full with babysitting. Aww, they should have just brought Vadina along. And guess what? They want the gold wings to compete in their place. Are you serious? All right! I've always wanted to play Blitzball. Why do we have to play? Don't sweat this small stuff. Leave everything to me. Me! Maybe once upon so, a time, well, you know what? Brother was one of the most MVP cheaties players that you could recruit for Blitzball. I have been practicing my diving a lot. But... You know, you might be surprised. I absolutely hate what they did to Blitzball in this game. I used to be so so damn good at the game in 10. Did that one? Yes, there were random variances or variables. Tied with the knowledge of knowing what the hell you're actually doing. And it was fun. In this... You can scout for new players. You can train your current players to hone their stats to make them better at whatever they're doing. I've never figured out what their stupid mechanic is with it. And with the actual play blitz ball, the, the players just do their own damn thing. There is no controlling them. You can't do anything with them. And it pisses me off so much because they ruined my favorite mini game in any game I've ever played Ugh. so we're going to do practice practice again 
and one more. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I didn't do... Forgot about that. Playstyle. Center attack, formation. Four in the back to the front. Guess we'll do it. Try this. There we go. That's what I was missing. Pain. Oh, Pain is more of a shooter. Whatever that means. Trust and cooperation. Mind your life biorhythms. Live <sighs> there. Brother, Let's see, where's those blocks? Two out of four. Raises a tick, lowers catch, which catch should be for the goalie. So this one don't matter if I lose that out. Bigs. I leave as is. Shinra. This is catch. Five points there. Yuna. One point on that wedge. Increase your blocking. Five. Riku. Four, buddy. Give you the last five. Okay. No change on bigs. If it's block went down, the other thing did not go up. No change on Yuna. Buddy shot and fatigue both went up. Fatigue part kind of sucks. Warriors block went up. Shinra's fatigue went down. Slash up. Technically that'd be up. And catching this up to four. No players have been set to downtime. Done. Play blitz. See what happens. Rises. First place, Moonbracer. Second place, play the Besaid Aurox. Third place, Mithra Bango. Top scorer, X Potion. Goings again. I'll bet Sykes. Pretty much the only team that I would ever really have issues with. Proceed. Gonna get Beast versus the Goers.
Doors won four to nothing. We're gonna go default. Yeah, this is gonna go bad. Problem is, there's an achievement for at least winning a round. And Riku failed. Brother failed. Fumbled it. His other teammate cut it. His shot is 36. Yeah, let's make this as fair at all. about the star things. Come on, dude. <sighs> That's why I hate this so much. If I could control my people, it might not be so bad. Would I potentially still lose? Sure. Would it be anywhere this horrible? Hell no. Shin or caught one. Wedge fumbled. Such asinine bullshit. Seven points. Yeah. Should have called the game a long time ago, you fools. Number of wins is zero. It's because you guys fucking butchered my game. I'll never, ever forgive Square for that shit. But the good news is, apart from going for the trophy, there's actually nothing story related to playing Blitz here. Instead, we want to head towards the outskirts. I don't know if I could just go to Meehan and then just walk down the stairs to get back here. But since that's its own series of things at this point, we're just going to walkie walk. Also because it's not like it takes that long to get where we want to go. Light curtains. Now I will save. And we're going 
into this little outcropping or outpost, whatever you want to refer to it. Overlook. I practiced. Wherever I go, Spira is full of places tied to my memories. Memories of my journey. Memories of you. Huh? What's wrong? But it's... You can't see it? See what? You need a break? <laughs> now we're gonna taste the moogle. Because everybody likes a moogle. There's a fruit of floating fluffy flying moogle. What more do you need to know? Chase after it. Objective. Catch the moogle? Hmm. Well, there are more buildings. All tall ones and cramped together. You must be so tall. Don't you ever get dizzy? No one else can see it. Next. I'm sorry. Please let me through. So we cheer on favorite players. Put your fingers in your mouth like this. Like this? Not like that. Like this. And then you just blow. <laughs> it's not working. Practice. And next up. Should be there, yep. <laughs> what in Yevon's name were you doing up there? <laughs> Mr. Micah is here. Mr. Micah, he is the leader of all of Spira. Yeesh, 70 years. Shouldn't he be a retired by now? Hey, mind your mouth now. Let's all go see him. These are our memories. Yours and mine. But I don't think I'm ready to let them be memories yet. Maybe I'm confused, but... It's okay. What's with you? A dream, I think. My heart won't stop pounding. That's not a dream. Not if your heart's pounding like that. You and someone you care about are connected somehow. That's what it is. How worldly. Who do you think it could too. be, Riku? About who? I don't know. Spill it. Maybe we can trade secrets. Hmm. <laughs> you drive a hard bargain. I guess everyone's like this. We cling to our secrets, our doubts, our memories. We're never able to put them aside. Even though they confuse us, there are some things we can only find in that confusion. I think it's okay to feel that way. Episode complete. Yeah, so 
that is all there is to do at Luca. Think I will worry about the stupid blitz thing at a later time after I look a little more into the training aspect of it. Next, me and High Road Culprit found, we finally get to the bottom of this mystery. Don't miss the thrilling conclusion, Gold Wings. I know who I want. I doubt that's what I'm going to get. The proprietor Rin is presenting the results of his investigation into the High Road struggles of late. Would you mind accompanying me to the agency? I don't know. Glad you are all here. I would like to talk about the recent string of incidents occurring on the high road. First, let us discuss the circumstances surrounding the hover crash. Marks found along the new road seem to indicate something fell from the road into the ravine below. Without a doubt, the hover found crashed and the old road ravine must have fallen off the new road. Now let us consider the runaway drawn machina. The machina can only be configured for operation through a control panel behind the agency. Naturally, I consider that someone might have tampered with that control panel. Something else could have caused the machina malfunction. Perhaps you have some idea, Lady Yuna. A strong impact? Precisely. Impact, where it's strong enough, could also be enough to cause a machina to malfunction. Such an impact would not necessarily require beastly strength. Even someone weak could deal a forceful enough blow with a little help from nature. Suppose, for example, someone were to jump down from a great height. That would do it. Hint, hint. <coughs> Now then, let us try to figure out who perpetrated these nefarious acts. We have already heard some testimony. The hover lost its balance and overturned while attempting to avoid a passerby. But who could that passerby be? We found footprints on one of the malfunctioning machina. So, let me ask you all. Has anyone recently been to the ruins at the High Road's south end? And does anyone recall jumping down from a great height? What? No one else? One final question. Who among you passed a hover on the new road the other day? We were together. I don't remember. Please, try to recall what happened, Riku. Hey. She looks happy. Whatever works for her. Got the result I wanted. Good job, Riku. Nimrod. <laughs> 